So we can imagine how the vegetation has grown on this volcanic island in the last 220 years. in Auckland. It was intended only as a day marker with no light. Built in 1882 as the shipping channel in front of us became easier in 1900. It was decided to put a gas light on top of it. In 1932 it was electrified on the one from the start of now across the channel. Then now it is Solar power. Mackenzie Bay on our right hand side is the only small sandy beach on Gajitoko Island and is very popular. For day trippers and bogies. between the lighthouse and the shore, we see large pools of water are left behind at low tide. The same year this beacon was built, a chap from England decided to capitalize on these natural salt pools and use them as evaporating ponds, collecting the salt from the seawater. This became a successful business for quite some time until unfortunately the price of salt on the world market collapsed. Left to Rangitoto Beacon we see a high rise building that is Takapuna. The lifestyle capital of Auckland's North Shore is famous for its stunning white sand beach, business center, cook cafes and restaurants. In front of us. Now we are seeing a view on our right hand side. In 1930s, here at Pika, and there were about 15 cottages providing accommodation for workers, forming quite a busy village. Nowadays there are only two houses. 